The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors, written and illustrated by Adam Rex. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called a backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will punch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior. Rock versus Clothespin. Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied, so he journeyed onto the mystical tavern of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There, he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Hug, I am smushed. And yet, smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained. But the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad, because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There, he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit off his trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land, the half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, oh, foul wizard! He's blotted out the sun! Run for your life, ladies! Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Bob's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen row, in the tiny village of Drugstores, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors and she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged on this day. Her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tucky and waggly round monstrosity. I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissor versus roll of tape. Scissors victorious. Scissor forged on across the kitchen realm to the fridge wastes of refrigerator slash freezer. There she met her most fearsome and worst yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen bread chicken. I've come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre yummy bread dinosaurs, 
bow before our child please look shapes and flavor sword master no one can resist our crunchy awesomeness scissor versus dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets dinosaur shaped chicken nugget win no wait no they don't scissors is victorious again am i so good that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can beat me and so scissors like rock and paper for her travel beyond her old kingdom seeking out a challenger who was her equal then one day in the great cavern of to car garage, rock and scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I am willing to fight you, then yes, yes, I'm wearing my battle pants. We're in scissory one. Rock versus scissors. An epic and legendary battle ensued but ultimately rock is victorious you have made me so happy by beating me i wish i felt your joy scissors for i have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me hi there those are fighting words wait what rock versus paper this is the best day of my life Thank you for winning, old great knight of paper. That slide for you. But it looks though no one will even beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me! And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy. And they became fast friends. Finally, they each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backgrounds or playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe.